All right. Hi there, everybody. My name is Crazy Canuck, 1985. And welcome to Canucks Course Critiques Reloaded. So, Canucks Course Critiques is something I started, oh, when, it, like back in November 2014. And, um, you know, it, I probably did about 100, 150 episodes, and then I, you know, that eventually morphed into TGCT Live, which you know I is I love doing. Um, we play some great courses, but you know maybe we don't do as much of the reviewing like I used to. Um, so what I want to try to do is bring that back a little bit, kind of do some some classic kind of episodes like what I used to do. Uh, all my old Canucks course critiques are over on my personal YouTube channel, so. Uh, but we're going to put these ones up on our new TGCT Live channel. So I'm going to do a, f you know, a few of these here and there and see if people are still interested in them. Um, and we'll go from there. So first episode, we're going to look at a new course by a relatively new designer. Uh, it's called St. Xavier's. Something. National Golf Club? St. Xavier National Golf Club? There it is. St. Xavier National Golf Club. This is by, on TGC Tours, he goes by I Drive Light Balls. I love it. Um, Brock Everett, his, name, his real name is, it looks like. Um, and he submitted this for the HB Rookie Design Contest. So, um, I've heard good things. So we're gonna we're gonna go through and and give it a play and and uh, yeah. So a lot of my views that I say are kind of you know my own personal opinion. Um, whatever I say definitely is not gospel or anything like that. So I'm just gonna give my opinion and you know talk about what I like, what I don't like, stuff like that. Let's go. Hey Fusion. A while since I've done one of these. I tried to start it back a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. I think last summer I tried to reload them a little bit, but I eh, kind of lost interest a bit. But you know, if I do a few of these here and there, um, we'll see. Uh, hey, Yeltsman, not much to dislike on this one. Oh, look at that little elk. Hopefully, I don't hit him. But, uh, wow, rookie design contest, huh? Right off the bat, I, I, I really like this opening tee shot. It looks really nice. You can see the whole hole open up in front of you. I love that. I try to put that into my own designs. And we're off. All right. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm. I'm always excited to, to see, on the forums, you know. New designers, you know, we're releasing something that just wows people, and it, it's awesome. It's. It's really good. Hey, golfer, dude. Thank you. Yeah, had a pretty good round. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I keep zooming in there. All right. It only gets better. Ooh. All right. So you know, I like courses that you know obviously play well, but uh, you know, there's so many courses in this game. You, you got to have your course stand out in some way. So, you know, I like courses that are unique, that look nice. Clearly, time's been taking on things like planting, stuff like that. Uh, so technically, this is Canucks course critiques reloaded, reload. Yeah, technically, because I, I I tried this again like six or seven months ago, and I think it lasted about three episodes. So we're gonna try to do a little bit more this time. All right, we're in for par. Great opening hole. All right. Wow. Really nice. Okay, so we've got a little retaining wall pond there. That looks pretty good. 
Wow, look at this rock wall. Huh. This was his seven, seventh course. Oh, cool. All right, so if I were to critique anything, actually, I'm not sure yet. Let's see if I can clear this. I don't know if I can or not. I just like the look of this. It looks really something different about it. I like it. I don't know if I'm going to make this. Oh, I made it by a lot. Your summer is approaching soon. Yeah, it is. I got about seven more weeks of work and then two months off. All right. Uh, minor critique. I would say that that back wall is. I like I like the rock wall. I would have mixed it up with maybe some more of the green bushes. It's just these, a lot of these big flowers here. I, I in my opinion, they just seem way 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 too big. And just way too pronounced. I don't know. It's just to me, it's a bit of an odd look. But I really like what he did with the rocks and and the other plants for sure. So nice job. But yeah, that that area may be a, a touch over planted, which is a common problem that I have when I design. I always way over plant things. Oh, that was crap. Antonio Scarpacci, hello, sir. Thanks for stopping by. So yeah, you guys need to give me feedback on these too. If you want me to, you know, start these up again, let me know. If you know, if not, I won't do them anymore. Get in. Only fault I have in this course takes too long to load on consoles. <coughs> Excuse me. I could see that for sure. Just it's. A lot of planting I can see has gone into this. Hey, G Dog. Again, a lot of the big, like I call them Jurassic Park flowers here, just because they're huge. Like, look at these. <laughs> like, th those flowers are bigger than me. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. In terms of um, whole layout so far. Nice mix. We've had some a couple straight holes. We had an uphill dog leg. Now we've got a downhill dog leg. Nice elevated T there. Bunkers look really good. Nicely shaped. Oh, look at that. That's nice. I got a little bit of lag on that flyover, which is understandable because there's just. I think that's probably overplanted. <laughs> and that's probably going to cause some stuttering on some things, but stuttering on mine, and I've got a fairly powerful PC here. But that's, again, relatively minor. Uh, okay. So I, gotta go. I, like, I like the blind shot here. Sometimes, you know, I, I usually say that I'm not a huge fan of the blind shots, but that's this is a purposeful blind one, so I like this. Ooh! Almost. Greens are nice. They're uh, subtle. I still can't make a putt on them, though. We've all made the mistake of enlarging the flowers to make them more print. Absolutely. I've done it, too. I have done it, too. All right. Straight pars to start. Oh, the color that's added by them. Agree, Dark Soldier. I like that too. Alright. This, I like the narrowness here. Now, another minor comment uh, would be the fairways shaping. It's, just, it's very wavy, like the look. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that smoothed out a, a bit, but that's just me. But again, that's really minor. G Dog, I saw that NVIDIA 1080. That's probably going to be my next graphics card. Oh, hit the cart path. <laughs> Get through. Oh. 
Yeah, I have a 970 as well on my card. Whoa, that looks really cool. All those lily pads out there, that's a great look. But I could see that would just cause some, some slowdown here. But that's a really cool look. And I like this hole, kind of like a, a, sort of like an island green. Oh, I'm still stuck in the heavy rough, though. Still stuck in the heavy rough. Yeah, this, I like how that opens up. You can see, like, there's a green there, a green there. It's kind of like the central part of this. I was flopping a lot of uh, shots in there on my my players championship golfer dude. Oh, come down, come down! Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Down a foot. Woo! I'm worried this is gonna go in the water. It's gonna tap this. Eh, that's not high enough at all. Oh, you are in big trouble. Okay, you know, it stayed on the green, so that's fine. But that That's a very pronounced uh, hill there. Oh, man. I'm playing terribly. Well, you know what? I bogeyed that relatively easy par 5, but uh, I really enjoyed that hole. I just had a bad drive to start. Good hole there. Oh, yeah, this is nice, too. This is very nice. I, I like the look with the, all the lily pads in there. And the planting is uh, is very nice. Some may say a bit overdone. But... You know what? I think, I think it looks good. I think with the Swiss theme, you you got to dress it up a bit. Because it's kind of ugly. So he's done a really good job with that, I think. Oh, that was close. Ugh. Must have took... I know. The fact that this was done on Xbox, and I've designed on Xbox where it's just... You plant one thing and you wait three seconds. It's... I don't know how he did it, so... You know, that alone, the patience required, is pretty impressive. His mountains there at the back look really good. Yeah, this is a nice hole. I like that, like, almost like Matterhorn-ish peak there behind six. Okay, we found the fairway. Oh, yeah. It looks really nice. Bunkers are good. That bunker maybe at the back's a little bit deep, but hey, look at all that going on in the background there. That's really cool. Just lots to look at. It reminds me of like an Arctic Fury course. I just played his uh, Athena Academy. I don't know if you guys have played that yet, but it's like... It's sensory overload playing that course. There is so much to do, or sorry, there's so much to see. It's almost like you got to go play it again just to like find all the goodies and Easter eggs. It's pretty neat. Like he did the snow-capped mountains. Like I was like, what? It's crazy. But this course kind of reminds me of it. There's lots to look at. It's nice. It's pretty well done. Did I play week four of speed golf? I did. I did last night, I think. I'm currently defending champion of speed golf. Oh yeah. yeah, follow. yeah I didn't. I didn't play that great. It's a fairly easy course, but man, I'm struggling. Plus one. It's a tough course, though. It's not by no means an easy one. Okay. Oh, look at this part. Oh, I, I like this. Just a little, like, island-type green. That is tiny, though. But it's only 103 yards, so... This kind of reminds me of a 
hole I played at uh, Grey Wolf out in uh, in the Rockies there. There's a hole kind of like this. This is this is pretty neat. Uh, it looks pretty good. Again, a bunch of those Jurassic Park flowers, but again, I, again, I understand the want to have them, you know, more pronounced. Uh, yeah, I I have not been playing well. I had you know, I've, I've had pretty good success this week anyway at tournaments, but if it's not a tournament, um. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't play very well. How would you get to the green? Well, that's a good question with that. What are the logistics there? How do you get to the green here? Zip line. Now that would be fun. That's a great idea. You golf and then you can zip line across the... Oh, how has someone not done that? Alright. Sharp looking hole. Again, the, the tee shot opens up very nicely. He's done really good work with elevation here. Really good work with elevation. Okay. Um. Oh. Now maybe one thing with these greens is you know, making the tiers, he's done a good job, but I think that's maybe a bit over overkill, that steep. But we'll see. I'll probably, oh, I hit the tree, so I'm definitely going to be short now. Oh, stay up there. This is an entry in the HB contest, the rookie design contest. This is one heck of a rookie entry, I would say. That's pretty impressive. I'm not judging it, and I haven't seen the other courses, but I would say that this one's probably got a pretty darn good shot to win it. It's very good. It's very, very good. All right. Oh, Lighthouse Yeti's going to love that. Just a straight on par four. A lot of people um, a lot of people try it they, they kind of avoid the straight on holes. They figure they need to have a dog leg or something to mix it up, but you know, there's nothing wrong with a good just straight on par four. He made a little cave in there, didn't he? Yeah, it looks like he made a little cave. I tried to do that with the Crawford Mines. You look back there, there's a little black spot there. Looks like a cave. That's pretty cool. Uh, only rule is you hadn't been in a design... Co okay. Yeah, just very neat. Lots to look at, lots to see. And the golf's very good. Finally made a birdie. All right. So I would say, you know, in terms of the golf so far, I think the golf, the holes are solid. Um, one and two really stuck out for me, but I feel oh, and six. Um, but you know, the, the holes have been good. I would say. Uh, however, I'm going to change because I love the look of this hole and how this plays. This is cool. I like how it wraps around. You know, this second option here, you know, I see, I would say that that second option might be a bit narrow. It's borderline. If the wind weren't that strong, I might give that a shot, but I'm going to go down here. Leg might hurt it in the contest. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard. That, that, that would suck. Oh man, I can't even find the fairway. 
Uh-oh, uh now I'm in trouble. I'm going to have to just... That's OB. No, it's not, it's not OB. Now that's huge trouble here. I'm just going to hit it out to the fairway there. I like the planting here. Again, I would say maybe a bit overdone. But what he's got here looks really good. But it's it's definitely putting some stress on my my system. My fan has kicked my fan kicked in on about the second hole. So it's it's uh, working my system pretty good. Thin out the planting, yeah, and it should run smooth. Oh, get in. Oh, look at that putt. There's a good par save right there. All right, let's keep it going here. Okay, I like this. Oh, this kind of connects with that uh, other par five. I see that. Very sharp looking Swiss course. Okay, so it looks like we get an option here. There are definitely going to be some trees in the way. Now, what do we do here? I like these long par fives where you've really got to think about your second shot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit of a draw around these trees. And that should be okay. Whoop, stop, 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 stop. Good. ACSU, what's up? Okay. Mm, 42. Sit. That'll work. Finally, we got a birdie. Jeez. Freaking time. All right. <laughs> There's a couple trees in the cart path over on the left there, I just noticed. Not a big deal, but. I wonder if those boats are having uh, issues getting those lily pads caught in their propellers. Maybe that's why they're just stuck there. Hey. Uh, 216. Okay. Nice little par 3 here. Sit. Sit, 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 sit. Stop. 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 What's up, Reeb? Okay. Hmm. That's pretty straight. 129 footer here. Coming up. Boom. Really hoping for something good from HB's announcements. It's a shame that a lot of the courses aren't as fun as they could be because they're birdie fat. Yeah. Trying to find that uh, in between. Now a lot of people are just so good. You know, if you don't have a little, a few tricks, you know, you're going to see 11, 12, 13 unders. The work in progress is looking great. Thank you. It's uh, stalled a little bit. I haven't done much work. I haven't been in the designer in a few days. So I might try to jump in later today. Got some time. I like the rock wall here. That's nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's got some in, some interesting planting techniques. I like it. You know, like I said, a bit overdone in places, but for the most part, solid. 
Oh, stay up there. Stay up there. Okay. Uh, it's in. Uh, so anyone that has a new course that's just been released, uh, they want to, to be for episode two. I'll probably record episode two after this. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's any anything you want me to review. Any new courses that maybe aren't yours. What's up, Els? Okay. This is a good hole here. Loved, I really like the rock work here. I Again, I just don't... I, I don't see how... I don't see how people have the, would have the patience to plant like this on Xbox. It's crazy. It's such a good. It's it's very good. Ah. Right. Oh, not that was not so good. <laughs> Whoops. Stop. Okay. Maybe I'll play Oakmont next. That one I have not played. Alright. Oh, it really gets narrow here. Reeve is saying he thinks the planting looks a little samey. Uh, I agree with you in, in places. It is kind of a little bit overdone. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. I never try to nitpick a designer's artwork. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to really critique the planting because everyone's got their own tastes. Um... Unless it's just, like, very distracting for all the wrong reasons, then yes. But, you know, there's a there's a few, a few things I would think the designer can work on planting-wise, but I think it looks really nice. But kind of the important part is how it plays, and I'm really enjoying how, how it plays. I think the layout is uh, very good. Oh, look at this high up shot here. 214. This one was distracting. All right, where are we going here? Nice to see so many people in the chat. You guys have any any recommendations for episode two? Because if not, I'm going to fire up Oakmon, I think. Yeah, another zip line of the green there. I like those big drops. Stop. Stop. Okay. Phew. TGC at Cedar Creek. First time contest designer effort. Ooh. All right. Maybe I'll give that one a go. All right. Big, ele nice elevated T here. Okay, that's a tough drive, actually. A little bit worried I'm going to miss the fairway here. I think I am. I think I'm going long. Ah! It's for the rookie contest. Oh, okay. This one's for the rookie contest, too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, jeez. Split fairway. That throws a wrench in my plans. Well, I'm just going to hack it out here. That's all we can do. 
Exactly. And you know what? My my preferences are probably very different from other people's. So, you know, I'll give a score at the end, but that's kind of for fun for me. Um, I'm going to warn you, I'm probably going to be scoring these episodes a little bit harder than I do we do on TGCT Live. Oh, no, that's in the water. Oh, splash. <laughs> that sucked. Split fairways for no apparent reason. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, like, what was the point of that split fairway there? I don't know. This is a rough, this is double bogey land here unless this goes in. And no. A creek or a bunker. Yeah, something to. Yeah, I understand for sure. Well, there goes all my my birdies. Man, I'm struggling. Alright, 18 here. Short par 4. Look at this. Alright, this is this is nice. Again, I would say maybe a little bit overdone, but what it it just looks really cool. Good job on the planning there. Ah, tough hole too here. What am I gonna do? Yeah, I would guess his object bar was probably pretty high up there. Sit. Sit down. Cut and paste rock, flower, bush, rock, flower, bush. Yeah, like the size and stuff at the back here, it's all kind of the same. It's, it's a little bit more, you know. But for our first time, pretty darn good. That's it. Oh no. Well, I'm finishing even par. That was not a great round, but oh I thought that missed. But St. Xavier Golf Club, uh for someone who's relatively new to the design game, um that's a really, really good course. Um in terms of how it played, I thought it played really well. There was a lot of um a lot of changes. It was unique. Uh, well, not change. There's a lot of what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of variety. A lot of variety. Um, you know, we had some elevated tee shots. We had some nice straight holes. We had some good dog legs. 18 stuck out for me quite a bit. Uh, the par threes were nicely done. Um, bunkers were good. Greens were for the most part good. Um, you know. The, the only thing about the greens, I would say, is the tiers maybe were a little bit too much. Um, but, you know, minor. And then, you know, the, the planting, I thought, was spectacular in a, a lot of places. Uh, maybe a bit overdone in some, but uh, pretty darn good. So, St. Xavier National Golf Club is done. Uh, that's an 8 out of 10 for me. It's a very, very good course. Um, well done. And uh, that's going to be it for episode 1, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it off quickly so I can put it onto YouTube after and then relaunch in about a minute with episode 2, and we'll go play TGC at Cedar Creek. So, uh, thanks for watching the first episode, and I will be back for another one in about a minute. See ya.